rafting on the Martha Bray. This is a place that you should visit if you are stressed out and you just need to relax. You excited to go on the Martha Bray? Yeah. yeah. What are you expecting? Chills. <laughs> Chills and relaxing. Watch out for crocodiles. Rafting on the Martha Bray involves you sitting on some bamboo logs that have been attached and just enjoying the view. Listening to the birds. Maybe you'll get a little bit of history from your guide. And you just relax as he pushes you down the water. It's different depths at different spots. And if you're so inclined, you can actually go swimming. It's a beautiful journey. So please join me as we float down the Martha Bray. On the way to the airport, we plan to get to the Martha Bray and float down the river before dropping my brother and niece off at the airport in Montego Bay. You need about two, two and a half hours to properly enjoy this adventure down the river. Do you have to do it on your way to the airport? Not at all. But it is definitely one of the experiences I think that you should try while you're in Jamaica. It's an amazing afternoon. It's basically just like being on a lazy river, except you go in one direction and see a whole bunch of different things. This is one of the only rivers in Jamaica that has alligators. There's and actually the alligators here? 100% there are alligators no. in Jamaica. No, but not, not in not this like water. Just to clarify, yes, there are crocodiles in Jamaica, but they are only in the Black River and by Kingston. We are in the Martha Bray, and it is croc-free. Oh no, Dad! Oh no! Aces are in the aces are floating away from you, pups. <laughs> There you go, Pops. I know. Thanks for stopping for him. It is very tough to actually keep the two boats side by side as they're so long and the waterways are pretty narrow. So I would suggest not going in the largest group because they can only have two adults per raft. If you're not able to get to the Martha Bray, there are other rivers that you can do the same or at least similar rafting experiences while you're in Jamaica. And it's an amazing way to just chill and enjoy the day. And if the weather has changed and while you were on the water you decided to go in the water, this place is so well prepared that they actually have shops that you can go shopping along the way. You could grab a drink, a towel, even a bathing suit. This is a different experience than the Blue Hole or Duns River Falls. This is for the less active people. Yeah, if you want to be more active, you can be like the locals and go for a swim in the water. But this one's meant for just chilling and connecting with the flora and fauna around you. It's an amazing experience to just relax and not worry about anything because the water is not that deep and you just float around and just like that your adventure is done and what I was interested in finding out was how they got these to the top of the river well not the top of the river but the starting point and you can see that giant structure in the back. Well, they actually will clip the rafts 
and then they put them on a truck and they ship them out. It was quite interesting. I think there might be a potentially easier way to do this, but the method of picking it up is pretty simple. But the guy having to bend over and throw the chains underneath, there's got to be a different way to be able to do this. While they're doing this, they have a greeting crew for you, which is amazing. They're baby ducks, and they're quite friendly. Yeah, that's not my hand, because I'd be afraid and probably jumping from the ducks. That's my niece who's petting them. And then you send one person in your group to the starting point and they pick up your vehicle and your journey is done. It was a really warm day, so the locals were making use of the river and their local swing. But until next time, stay safe, have fun, and keep enjoying the wildlife.